Consider this image of a coastline. What would it look like if we could fly into this image and explore the scene? Recent view synthesis methods allow us to move the camera slightly, but these methods are not designed for generating far away views. If we want to move the camera further, after a certain point these approaches break down. How can we do better? In this work, we propose the problem of perpetual view generation, where the goal is to take a single input image and continually generate new views corresponding to a very long camera trajectory over a large distance. This is a very challenging problem. As the camera moves in the scene, this task requires inpainting new regions that are missing due to disocclusion, shown here in pink. We also need to generate new content for regions outside the previous image boundaries. We also need to super-resolve the existing content that approaches the camera to avoid blurry video. And we need to generate such new content over many frames. In order to address these challenges, we propose an iterative framework of render, refine and repeat, which takes advantage of both the underlying scene geometry and image synthesis techniques. From an image with corresponding disparity map and a target camera viewpoint, we first render the image into the novel view using a differentiable renderer. Much of the heavy lifting of generating the new view is thus achieved through simply warping pixels according to the geometry. We then refine the rendered image with a deep network whose task is to synthesize new content in missing regions and add detail to existing regions. We refine both the appearance and the geometry so that we can repeat this process in an autoregressive framework. Because of this render, refine, repeat design, novel views can be perpetually generated with explicit view control, and in every step we only need to learn to fill in a small amount of new content. At test time, we use the Midas system of Lazinger et al to obtain the initial disparity map to kickstart the process. To train our model, we introduce the Aerial Coastline Imagery Dataset, a new dataset of aerial footage of coastline and natural scenes from over 700 videos spanning 2 million frames. We identified such videos and processed them with structure from motion to get camera poses and 3D point clouds like the one we see here. To train our approach, we use the Midas system of Lazinger et al. to obtain dense disparity maps. Now let's look at some results. We first compare our method with three recent view synthesis methods, 3D photos, SINSIN, and single image MPIs. Please see the paper for comparison against a video synthesis method. Here we show results for generating novel views for 30 steps of camera motion. Note that after 5 or 10 frames, large holes and artifacts such as stretched out content and geometric patterns appear in the baseline approaches. In contrast, our approach is able to generate new content, enabling continued camera motion. Next, we apply our approach to generate long video sequences of hundreds of frames. The camera trajectory is automatically computed on the fly using an algorithm that avoids crashing into objects or veering towards the sky. As our approach generates both image and disparity, we can produce a disparity video as well. We can generate different videos from a single image by changing the style of the generated camera trajectory. Here we show two types of camera motions. Here are more results. While our model maintains local consistency between nearby frames, because it doesn't have a long-term memory, the landscape can change over time as the camera travels. Devising future methods that ensure global consistency is an exciting direction.
our work represents a first step towards the new task of perpetual view generation and can synthesize much larger camera motions than prior methods. While many challenges remain towards generating fully photorealistic video, our work pushes the boundaries of what is possible with view synthesis and we hope to inspire more work in this direction. Thank you for your attention.